going to discuss about the principles of growth and development and before we know about the principles we have to know about the definition of growth definition of development and what is the meaning of principle principle is the fundamental or basic rule for life the things happened in our life it is in sequence and it is mandatory to happen in our life that is the principle okay and the growth if we talk about the growth growth is the uh, when the child when the child grow in body size in the form of height in the form of weight that is growth and development when skills developed when brain going to start work that is development okay according to this growth refers to an increase in physical size of the whole body or any of its parts it is simply a quantitative change in the child body quantitative means which we measure in quantity we have to measure growth in quantity in the form of kilogram in the form of pound in the form of centimeter okay that is the quantitative in the next line it is also mentioned here it can be measured in kilogram pounds meters inches and etc development is development refers to a progressive increase in skill and capacity of function it is a qualitative change in the child's functioning it can be measured through observation quantitative the quantitative the the thing we can measure in the form of kg and pound and qualitative which is related to our functioning related to our brain which we cannot measure in these kind of parameters like kilogram and pounds okay and in this when the child uh, skills increase the capacity and functions increase that is the development and how we know child grow or develop in a good pathway or in a right way we know about at at the what at what is what kind of things the child do for example first of all the child hold the ball with both hand after that they are able to hold the ball in one hand and if we talk about the pen or pencil first of all the child hold the pen or pencil in hand with the help of whole fingers and after that when the functioning is improved that time they can hold the pen or pencil with two fingers that is the actual skills or functioning that is development i hope you have clear with this uh next we talk about the principles of growth and development first of all we have to know about this fallopardal growth so fallopardal growth is the growth this principle describes the direction of growth and development first of all the child start to hold their head and after that st uh, start to balance the other parts of the body right and we have to read this the head region starts growth at first following by which other organ starts developing then the child gains control of the head first then the arms and then the legs uh, near about uh, after 5 months the child are able to or can hold their head with balance and after that they can balance their other parts of the body infants develop control of the head and face movements at first two months in the next few months they are able to lift themselves up by using their arms then next gain control over legs and able to crawl stand walk run jump climb and day by day they never come back to the mother lap okay the next is proximo distal what does it mean sphalopodal the growth start from the head then other parts of the body first of all the head development of the head after that the other parts and in proximo distal the process in proximo distal from center or midline to periphery direction for example 
first of all the chest area developed after that the arm then hand then fingers uh, you also know about the fetal development and in that case first of all the chest developed after that arm then hand and at the end the fingers develop right development proceeds from near to far outward from center axis of the body towards the extremities from chest to arm then hand then fingers same in case of legs in proximal distal the directional sequence of development during both prenatal and postnatal stages may either be prenatal means when the child in the mother womb and postnatal when in our hand from head to foot and from central axis to the extremities of the body then spinal cord develops before outer parts of the body then child's arms develops before the hands and the hands and feet develops before the fingers and toes we have discussed earlier this fingers and toe muscles are the last to develop in physical development of the child then growth and development is a continuous process we all know first of all at the time uh when the uh, the infancy stages are there then toddler preschool school is then adult uh, adolescent after that adult then middle adulthood then old age this is the continuous process and in this everyone can face these stages okay continuous process growth and development is a continuous process from conception to death right in the early years of life development consists of changes that lead the child to maturity not only of body size and functioning but also of behavior even after maturity has been attained development does not end because learning learning is a process which we can which we can continue in our whole life we can learn we can learn something every day we can learn new things okay then changes continue which lead to the period of life known as senses or old age right then these changes continue until death ends the life cycle and this is the continuous process and everyone face this the next one is growth and these are the principles of growth and development next one growth and development is orderly and sequential process orderly why orderly because everyone have to follow the same order first in neonate then infant toddler preschool school is adolescent right then every species not only human every species animals birds whether animal or human follows a patterns of development peculiar to it this pattern in general is the same for all individual social and behavioral scientists increasingly have come to see development as a relationship between organism and environment in a transaction or collaboration all children follow a development pattern with one stage leading to the next then ex infants stand before the walk draw circles before they make squares then influenced by environmental and genetic factor which kind of environment on and where the child live and which kind of rna dna means genetic factors present in their parents it also influenced the child growth and development individuals work with and affect their environment and in turn the environment works with and affect them right growth and development is predictable how we know when the child born and that time his or her weight is 2.5 kg and we know 
at the time of five or six months the weight will be double okay and it is a predictable we know that we learn from the books at what is what kind of growth and development are present in child and with the help of this we can take an idea or we can judge we can predict the child growth is normal or abnormal then development proceed from simple to complex first of all the simple task the child tackle and after that the lead into the complex one children use their cognitive cognitive means related to brain cognitive and language skills to reason and solve problems then children at first are able to hold the big things by using both arms in the next part able to hold things in a single hand then only able to pick small objects like peas and cereals we also take the example earlier first of all the child hold the ball in a with the help of both hand after that with one hand and after that the skills developed more and the next is children when able to hold pencil first start to draw circle and then squares then only letters after that the words that is a simple to complex certain stages of growth and development are more critical if the child born with chromosomal abnormality and other kind of critical thing critical illnesses and in case of malnutrition that time the growth and development is very put bad effect on the growth and development of the child then the next is growth is uneven how it is not equal in all the children everyone has their own style of growth and development right then there is a coordination between increase in sizes and maturation with the help of this image you can learn about at the time of 25 days of conception only neural tube develop after that the other parts are developed and at the time of 9 months the brain the anatomy of the brain developed fully then maturation refers to the sequential characteristics of biological growth and development and biological changes occur in sequential order and give children new abilities according to their experience anatomy the brain developed anatomically fully developed according to the anatomy but with the help of experience and environment the genetic factor of the parents other conditions of the parents it put fully affect on the child growth and development changes in the brain and nervous system account largely for maturation and help children to improve in thinking and motor skills then children must mature to a certain point before they can progress to a new skills the next one is principle of individual difference there is a always individual difference are there some child grow re fast and some take tension related to study related to home environment related to other things and they not do not grow normally there is a individual difference are there the tempo of development is not even not equal in everyone individuals differ in the rate of growth and development boys and girls have different development rates each part of the body has its own particular rate of growth and development does not occur at an even pace there are periods of great intensity and equilibrium and there are periods of imbalance also development achieves say plateau and this may occur at any level or between levels the next one is rate of growth and development is interrelated when the child grow physically then side by side they can develop cognitively 
their brain also develop or development also occur that's why they are interrelated if the growth is poor then development also poor if the growth is good then development also good next is new neuronal reflexes need to be lost the reflexes we can judge at the time of birth or at the time of new neuronal period they become disappear according to the age okay the next is skills are learned by practice it is also uh, present in our life also with the skills we want to become in perfect the skills we want to perfect in our life we have to practice and the same things happened in in case of children they when they practice more the things for example play or other things they become skillful growth comes from within if we encourage the child to do the things to do the physical exertion and play with the other children or we encourage in every moment then it also motivate the child to do well that's why the growth comes from within it need motivation one or surrounding environment can encourage or can hinder the energy of a child but the drive force that pushes a child to grow is carried inside him and parent or teacher job is to clear the track guide the child with loving acceptance and then relax and enjoy then growth has certain characteristics common at particular age everyone after 12 or 13 years deal with the puberty because there is some changes are there in girls and boys and every child can face this stage then proceeds from general to specific development proceeds from general to specific in all areas of the development general activities always proceeds specific activities for example we have uh, learn about the example of a pencil first of all the child hold the pencil with the whole hand or the entire hand after that they have to they have to hold the pencil with the help of thumb and finger right that is the general to specific general when the child hold the pencil with the entire hand and the specific when the child hold the finger with the two with the finger or thumb for example the fetus moves its whole body but incapable of making specific responses at the time of fetus move in the womb whole body they can move but do not do any kind of response and infants wave their arm randomly they can make such specific responses as reaching out for an object near them thank you very much i hope you have clear with this if you face any kind of problem kindly inform me i'll surely help you thank you